Hey Parker, it's uh, Friday. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my letter to my state representative. So, so uh, just a brief timeline on what happened. At some point Hank put forth the challenge of write a letter to your state representative. This was of course in uh, response to the Pulse nightclub shooting. And then on Monday I began writing my letter and then Wednesday the whole Democrat house sat on the house floor for 25 or so hours in protest. I was very proud to see many um, of my state reps there as well as many other notable representatives and pretty much the entire Democratic Party in the house was protesting. Now the reason they were protesting as I understand it is that they can't even get a vote on these bills. They are trying to pass these bills but they can't even get a vote. It's not that these bills won't pass because they probably won't because the Republican is in a the Republican Party is in a majority in the House and the Senate. They did pass in the Senate. They're probably not going to pass in the House. But but they can't even vote on these bills. That is the part that infuriates me. Around like midnight, I think, um the speaker, Paul Ryan, who's a Republican, comes back into the House and they vote on a bill on fiduciaries, which is like a um, economics thing doing dealing with like retirement funds and so on and so forth. And these uh, house reps talked about their experience with guns and their constituents experience and how something needs to be done and they can't even vote on a bill. And then at one in the morning, Speaker Ryan comes back into the house, they vote on a Zika bill and then Paul Ryan comes back at 2.30 in the morning and they vote on going to recess. Now in case you don't know, when the house goes to recess, the house is basically on summer break. Okay, so C-SPAN and the house have like this weird sort of partnership. The house often broadcasts their sessions to C-SPAN, C-SPAN plays them, um, but C-SPAN does not control the cameras in the house, the house controls that. And Paul Ryan, the speaker, controls the house, so by default he controls the cameras. Funnily enough, he turned off the cameras and the microphones because he didn't want to deal with the Democrats' uh, protests. And by turning that all off, he pretty much blocked the people, and it's supposed to be the people's house, he blocked the people from seeing in. But one of the lovely, lovely reps, they began periscoping it and Facebook streaming it and I am so proud of our reps for actually periscoping and streaming in the house which is technically, I think it's technically against the rules. They might have broken a law but I mean hey they wanted the people to know and I'm all, I'm all for it. But anyway I wrote one letter. I sent the letter to both my, both my house rep and my senator and I informed them in the letter that I would be sending it to the other because they're both my representatives, just in different legislative bodies. Uh, my letter, I'm not going to read it because it was kind of a personal letter. It ended up being a personal letter. Basically, I said, hey, I'm, you represent me. I'm your constituent. I, you know, I love the work you've done so far. Thank you for making Maryland awesome. And then pretty much I, my personal opinion is I asked them to increase, to continue working to increase um, gun control and, you know, I supported the sit-in and all that jazz. Now I also, when the sit-in was going on, I also called my house rep's office up. Not shockingly, I got an intern who took a message for me, at which point I basically said I support no fly, no buy, I support increased gun control regulations. I've never felt more involved in my country's political process than I have now. A lot of people complained about the Democrats sitting on their rear ends on the House floor, but we voted them into office, they're representing me. If I could be sitting on the House floor, I probably would have been sitting on the House floor. But Parker, I kind of hope that on July 5th, when the House goes back into session, they just go right back down to the House floor and sit until they at least get a vote. But Parker, pretty much the entire political world has gone topsy-turvy. You've probably heard about Brexit as well. Uh, hopefully we don't go into a global recession, which is what a lot of people think we're heading towards. We'll see. Um, we're in a topsy-turvy political world. We'll, I don't, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I will see you on Monday, Parker. DFTBA, stay super, stay safe, have fun in Prague. Goodness gracious, you're uh, really becoming a jet setter. I'll see you on Monday.